Adam Kilhan. Yes, sir. Angel Duffy. Yes, sir. Annette Curtin. Annette Curtin. She wasn't paid. I can see right through her, Annette. Jason Hayes. Yes, sir. Right, now, sir, are going to have to knock it down here, small bit. Yeah, the exam coming up now. And as I might as well be looking into a field of tissues that's looking down my cheek. Right, today we're going to be learning about the circulatory system. The things we need to know about the circulatory system is the, com the composition and the functions of blood, the different types of blood vessels, the structure and the function of the heart. Come on, let's go, we can make more foggy. The passage of blood to the heart. Blood from all around the body enters the heart through the vena cava. The blood then moves into the right atrium. The valve then opens, allowing the blood to flow into the right ventricle. From there, the blood moves out through the pulmonary artery and travels into the lungs. At the lungs, the oxygen-poor blood becomes oxygen-rich blood. The oxygen-rich blood then flows back to the heart to the pulmonary vein into the left atrium. The valve then opens and the blood passes to the left ventricle. The function of the valves is to prevent the backflow of blood so the oxygen-rich and oxygen-poor blood never mix. After the blood enters the left ventricle, it leaves the heart via the aorta. From here, the blood is pumped all over the body providing us with energy. This is how our body works.